There are more than 2.5 million sellers on Amazon. That number seems daunting, but let's look at these numbers and understand why only a minuscule portion of these sellers matter to us. Hey, this is Rochelle and welcome to multiple passive streams of income. When I first looked at Amazon FBA, one of my initial concerns was how can I compete with sellers who started selling on Amazon many years before me, they can probably order larger quantities than me, therefore allowing them to offer better pricing. And how can I compete with their review count that they have built up over years? Immediately, let me show you why I don't care about over 2,499,000 952 some odd sellers on Amazon. Let's look at an extremely competitive product on Amazon like face masks. Let's niche down to reduce our competition. So let's look at the monthly search volume for unicorn face mask, which is over 23,000 monthly searches according to merchant words. If we type that search term into Amazon, we can see page one shows 48 of over 2000 products. We are only in competition with the sellers on page one. So I'll repeat, we don't care about over 2,499,952 some odd sellers on Amazon. Now let's analyze page one for the search term unicorn face mask. Let's imagine we are looking to buy an adult unicorn face mask. At the top of the page is a headline ad. This real estate on page one is reserved for brands only. And this brand has done a very good job of differentiation. They are selling a matching face mask and a matching face shield for girls. And one of the designs happens to be a unicorn design. This is another great example of how to use printable items for differentiation. Even though this is a great idea, they are not our competition. They will appeal to buyers wanting a unicorn face mask for kids. So no competition here. Another interesting detail about this page one is there's no sponsored ads in the first row. So position one is an organic position one and not a sponsored ad. Organic position four is not relevant to the search term unicorn face mask. May some buyers choose to buy this face mask? Yes. But buyers looking for a unicorn face mask probably won't buy this balaclava because they are looking for a face mask and not a balaclava. So here's a seller on page one that really isn't our competition. So we started out the video talking about over 2.5 million sellers on Amazon. I just reduced that to 48 sellers because we just eliminated two of the sellers at the top of page one. Now let's look at the review count of organic position one, two, and three. And look at here, look at here. Organic position one has only 13 reviews. Organic position two has 408 reviews. And organic position three has 2,339 reviews. Now organic position number two is a child's face mask. So we can reduce our 46 competitors to 45 competitors because in all likelihood, a buyer wanting a unicorn face mask for kids would have typed in unicorn face mask for kids or something of that nature. So now let's focus on organic position one and three. So that's 13 reviews versus 2,339 reviews. So this dispels the myth of reviews. This is a perfect example of a new product 
competing well against an old timer with way more reviews. If we run Helium 10's x-ray on page one, we will see the estimated sales of all the products on page one. So let's analyze the numbers. Let's look at the disparity of the sales totals on page one for unicorn face mask. There's a seller selling over 37,000 masks a month and a seller selling 23. Now, how can that be? See, some sellers have variations, so there's no way of knowing the exact sales for unicorn variations with this seller. But if Amazon is ranking this face mask on page one for the search term unicorn face mask, this tells us they're probably selling more than 23 monthly of their unicorn design. Their total sales of close to 38,000 monthly is a combination of different search term sales. As you can see, they have many variations, one being a US flag, one being a butterfly, and so on. The number one seller is on more page ones than the 23 sale seller. Let's look at Cerebro and drill down on this point. If I insert the ASIN for seller one and filter to see how many search terms this seller is in the organic position one for, we see they rank number one for 113 search terms. Now let's look at the ASIN in Cerebro for the seller that's on page one that's selling 23 sales. They are in position one for only two search terms. So you can see why seller one is selling more masks monthly than the seller that has 23 sales per month. So it doesn't matter how many sellers are on Amazon. Our job as smart sellers is to do keyword research. When selecting products, we choose to source on Amazon. This validates the demand. Then the most important part of our product research is how are we going to differentiate our product from the others selling the same product? Once we confirm demand and we differentiate, we would then launch our product utilizing PPC, which is pay-per-click, but not just running PPC willy-nilly, but running optimized PPC from the start by targeting our competitors' money keywords supplemented with anticipated negative keywords. You will optimize these launch campaigns by adding negative keywords as they present themselves. And as you collect data, you're going to discover what your money keywords are You'll pull those money keywords out of those campaigns and create individual campaigns for these money keywords with exact and phrase match types and increase the budgets of these individual campaigns once you verify they are money keywords. As you continue this optimization, your daily sales will increase for profitability and after subtracting your daily PPC spend, you are going to eventually see profitability. And as you rank for more search terms, the more daily sales occur. Also, your organic sales are going to grow, which is going to increase your profitability. A combination of the amount of search terms you rank for and the strength of those keywords will strongly correlate with your sales. As a seller, my job is to differentiate my product so I am unique and then find the search terms that buyers feel I'm relevant for. Just as important is to figure out what search terms don't work so I'm not spending money on search terms that are less likely to convert. So as you can see, this is why I don't care about 
over 2,499,952 sellers on Amazon. As always, thanks for your time as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care.